hello friends and welcome to the new video and today we are going to discuss about the uh, sftp okay so what if i want to you know, run the sftp consider that you know i do have the legacy application or maybe you know my application is supported only for the uh, ftp file transfer because you know there are some mechanism and i want to you know utilize the uh, ftp on the azure so what are the option uh, solution that i have in my play, uh, plate okay so uh, the typical way like you know if you want to you know run the sft so you can you know create vms right maybe one or two depend on your requirement on this particular vm you will run the ftp okay but you know once you uh, adhere this particular solution so with this solution there are some things uh, that you need to take care like you know the uh, life cycle of this vm management that you need to do you need to do the patching for this particular uh, uh, vms you need to uh, you know uh, create the users and everything for this particular vm and on top of that if you want to scale it you have to do it by your own so this is the uh, typical option currently available and currently microsoft come with the managed service where you can you know create the your sftp on the azure blob storage and in today's video we are going to cover about like you know that particular scenario where we can you know create the azure storage account okay and on that particular storage account we can enable the ftp you can call yes ftp okay so that's what the our uh, agenda for today's video so let's see like you know what are the required things uh, before you are you know putting down this particular solution uh, in your organization what are the things that need to be uh, we need to you know prepare before uh, before thinking about this service so first thing is that you know this particular uh, mechanism require namespace your hierarchical namespace is required for this particular solution if you want to run it in your environment okay that's the one thing and this is nothing but the way like in your uh, uh, personal pc like you know whatever the uh, file system that follow it exactly the same so it's not you know some fancy things uh, here and if you want to uh, if you want to you know enable this hierarchical structure so in that case you need to be uh, enable the data lake data lake uh, facility on your storage account then you can you know enable the uh, hierarchical namespace on your storage so that's the uh, one option like you know once you enable the data lake then you will get the option to enable also for the hierarchical namespace and that is the requirement for your azure blob storage uh, to run the ftp solution next point uh, it's regarding the authentication and authorization so uh, your uh, azure uh, sftp uh, it will not support to aad it will not support okay it will support the new of uh, you know authentication method that is the uh, that's we called the local local user okay in that local user you have two option one that is password base and second one is the key base sss key base authentication that that uh, you know support and it will support both simultaneously so not necessary you can you know uh, just you know, need to enable the password base or maybe you know enable the um, uh, key base authentication for your uh, sft and it will support thousand user local user for your sftp uh, so that you know uh, this way uh, you can you know manage your user locally on the sftp there are some uh, as uh, networking things uh, that also we need to you know, keep in mind like you know uh, if you are going to utilize the sftp um, solution in your environment in that case you should be on the you know, networks uh, your net your network side 
on network side port 22 should be open so because it's uh, work on the port 22 and your organization should allow to you know open the port 22 second thing static ip you know static ip is not allowed okay so static ip is not allowed for your sft uh, is a uh, you know storage account and it's not the limitation of your uh, sft solution it's the limitation from the you know, solution side again if you want to do the uh, uh you know routing over the internet so that is again not supported the routing should be go on to the microsoft backbone only that is only you know supported so it will support your private endpoint and everything but uh, internet or the internet routing is not supported right now and if i talk about the you know, file size so uh, in that case like uh, it will support the 100 gb file size uh, for the you know, sftp even there are some container like uh, uh, your dollar log dollar web dollar root it will be not accessible over the sftp so we have discussed all the point about this particular uh, offerings from the microsoft so let's we will want to move on to the azure portal and let's try to create it uh, the sftp for on the azure blob storage for our solution so i have logged in into my uh, azure subscription and uh, from here we will you know create the storage account that's provide a solution for our sftp so what we exactly we know to do on the you know uh, this uh, global search panel you have to type storage account once you type the storage account you will get the option uh, for the storage account you have to you know, click on this first not the classic one click on this one and click on the you know, create storage account now you in a basic panel you have to you know, specify the uh, the information about your storage account what you are going to utilize it is you know similar to the you know, storage account that we have already you know uh, seen in uh, the previous video where we have uh, created the storage account so here uh, I will you know choose the subscription so uh, subscription is already selected and here I will you know uh, specify the resource group name where I want to create the storage account so for this particular uh, demo I will you know create one resource group I will give the name for that particular resource group as SFTP demo okay so we are putting down this resource uh, in this particular resource group here we have to specify the name for your storage account so you know yes ftp demo i will give the name and uh, here i need to know choose the uh, location where i want to put i am okay with the standard uh, location and uh, i will click here for the locally redundant uh, um, storage account click on the next now here be careful like you know we discuss about uh, the uh, some points in our slide yes ftp only support for the hierarchical namespaces okay and to enable the hierarchical namespace we need to enable the data lake option okay if you see here on this particular window if you want to you know, click on this enable yes ftp option so currently it is grayed out once you click on enable the hierarchical namespace it will open that particular option for you okay and this option hierarchical namespace is the option of your azure data lake gen 2 uh, offerings okay so once you click here you need to click on enable sftp and if you have the uh, the uh, even the requirement for your uh nfs file system so you just you know click on the NS nfs file system also okay that's the only uh, uh only thing that you have to you know click here and you know make it available for you 
so once you uh, enable this uh, option so you are done with your settings then you know click uh, on review let me know uh, click here for the network so that let, let it be you know created at the new network for me i will click on the review and i will you know create this particular storage account that serve us the sftp service so validation uh, is completed and let me click on the you know, create button so it will start deploying this particular service for you once this particular service is deployed we will look where we will get the option like you know you might be you know thinking like you know we discuss about there will be you no know, thousand user that we can you know locally add into the sftp and there are another authentication method key and everything so don't worry we will you know look into it once this particular resource get you know spin up if we see here like uh, it's already spin up the network uh, for this particular um, deployment and now it's spinning up the storage account if you see the status it was you know accepted but now right now you know our resource is fully ready so i will click on go to resource option here so this is what the storage account that we have created now the question is that where i will get this option where i can see like you know where the yes ftp things comes into the picture okay if you see on this left hand panel uh, panel uh, and if you know scroll down into the setting you will get the option for yes ftp you have to just click here and from this particular panel you can manage your users and you can manage your yes ftp also you can you know enable it and disable it okay so now we are going to you know, add the resource uh, user here so just click on the add user local user and give the name like you know i am going to uh, give the name like um, cloud skills up okay i have given the name we discuss about like simultaneously we can utilize both method that is your password based ssh and key pair based ssh you have to just click here if you already have created the SSS key, just you need to add here. Or you may be, you know, uh, create a new for you. So if you click on the add, it will give you option, you know, generate the key pair. And in a drop down, you will get, you know, use the existing uh, storage key and, you know, public key that you can you know, specify here. So for this demo, I'm going to you know, create the new key pair for me and you have to specify the name for this particular key pair so i'm you know giving the name yes ftp key okay and description it's for the ftp demo once you click on the next here you have to specify the permission for your container also like you know which container can be accessible for this particular user using the key and the password that we are going to you know generate so currently we don't have any uh, container because we just created the storage account and we went into this uh, ftp uh, setting so here you will get the option if you don't have the container you will get option to create it so i will you know create the container and i will specify the name for this container is um, doc doc container okay just click ok so it will create the container for you and now you have to specify the permission like there are no multiple permission here if you see here there are the read permission write permission list permission delete and create permission so like you know what the document you want to know read so only you can provide the uh, read permission so just you know go through the you know, permission and uh, what are the permission match for the, your requirement according to that you can you know provide the permission so for this demo i will you know take the all the permission for this particular storage account and you have to specify home directory also here without home directory it will not uh, able to you know create uh, you know access your sftp that's for sure and if you don't want to you know, specify the uh, landing directory so that is again you know not a problem 
uh, we can we need to just need to know modify the uh, connection when we are you know stability bridging the you know connection with the sftp that time we need to know uh, add the container name so that you know it can you know hit and land to that particular container so that you can uh, you can do the uh, file management from that particular connection so let's you know uh, i will you know click on the add here so it will give you uh, give me the option uh, to uh, to save that particular uh, password and key make sure that this is one time activity that you can you know pre uh, you can you will be uh, able to save the password and your key so just copy this particular password so i will you know open the open the notepad and i will put down the password here just click on the next button where you will get the option to download your uh, key pair so just you know click on the download and uh, you will get those particular key uh, you know private key so that you can you know establish connection using this particular key so for do for this particular do demo i'm not going to you know uh, utilize it i will go through the password only but this is what the option i want to you know show you from where you can download the key pair and utilize it for your uh, connection so i'm just click on this button so if you see that you know our user is already you know created here this is what the connection string and this container name this is something your uh, landing uh, path so what exactly the landing path landing path is nothing but your uh, home directory that we haven't set it okay but you know we created the container called docs so we are going to know utilize that container to connect uh, to make our connection so quickly copy this and put it down to your notepad and remove this part container part so that we will uh, put down the dock here the container that we have created okay so now we have created the user cloud skills up okay but when we are going to utilize the connection so we need to give this particular user uh, this particular string as a username and this is your host so make sure that you know don't only give this uh, cloud skill sub uh, uh, skill sub as in your user maybe it will uh, refuse your connection okay so if you have the file zilla you can you know open your file zilla let me open it on my desktop and this particular file zilla uh, i will going to you know provide this uh, connection just click here and create a new site here we have to we are going to create for the uh, connect uh, creating the connection for the sftp so on the host name i will put down this particular host string you can put it here and okay ask for the password so username you have to you know provide this entire things put it down here and click on connect and here it it's asking for the password so just copy your password and put it down here and click on the ok so just click on the ok so it will you know establish the connection to your uh, server so basically it's refused my connection and do you know why it's refusing my connection if you uh, remember like you know when i create this particular uh, uh, you know container that time i have created it as a private container and whatever the vnet get you know created that is again you know private vnet so i don't have you know any connectivity from my laptop to the azure sites okay so in that case i need to you know whitelist my ip then it will allow me to create the con uh, con uh, connectivity okay so just go into your uh, storage account and uh, here you have to click on the networking once you click on the networking uh, you will get the option for the firewall let it load for us 
if you see here the firewall option and this is what the ip from where i'm going to you know connect to uh, currently i'm utilizing just you know click on this add button so and uh, save this particular setting so it will whitelist my particular ip in this particular uh, storage account so that if i am making any connection from uh, this particular ip to uh, the sftp it will allow okay so now my ip is get uh, you know added here and now if i open the firezilla here and you know click on the new site and now this time it will you know uh, successfully connected to my uh, sftp now what will do it uh, from here we can you know right click here and create the directory and i will you know uh, give the name here from sf from sftp client okay this is what the directory we, uh, i'm going to you know, create on this particular um sftp just you know click okay so it it's getting you know, created here now if you go into your storage account and click on the container and if you see uh you know we are connected to this doc uh, uh, directory just click here and you can find out that you know what are the directory that we have created it's you know replicated here so uh, this is how we can you know utilize from the client and if you want to you know, utilize it uh, from your uh, um, uh, powershell so again you know you have to you know utilize the same method just click on your storage account this is what my storage account click on your yes ftp copy this particular string format it in this way and now copy it and open your powershell paste it here okay just put down yes f t p and the path of your sftp here you have to you know, click type yes then it will ask you for your password so copy your password that you have created and paste it here and click on the enter so now you are you know connected to your sftp so this is how the uh, azure blob uh, storage currently you know supporting to your sftp load that you want to utilize and i hope you understand all the uh, settings that we did uh, in entire session i hope you like this if you really like it so you know uh, click on the like uh, button and if you didn't subscribe uh, to my channel yet so you can you know subscribe to my channel also thank you so much guys we will you know see you into the next video with a new topic bye bye